Homeland Security Secretary Kelly briefed the Europeans by phone on this last week, but they requested in-person briefings on the intelligence. That's why right now this meeting is underway in Brussels. The bottom line, if you are traveling round trip to Europe this summer on the return leg, you need to be prepared to check any personal electronics larger than a cell phone. Just weeks before the summer travel season kicks off, a major security upgrade could be coming soon. Homeland Security is set to prohibit passengers from carrying any electronic device larger than a cell phone on board flights leaving Europe for the U.S. Laptops, tablets, e-readers, and DVD players would all have to be checked with luggage, which undergoes more thorough explosive screening than carry-on bags get. Well, there clearly is a significant threat. Uh, we're aware that Al-Qaeda and now ISIS uh, bomb makers have developed some very sophisticated techniques over the years. Terrorists have already used explosives to blow a hole in the side of a plane over Somalia and down a Russian jet over Egypt. The proposed new electronics ban would expand a similar rule already in place for flights coming from 10 airports in the Middle East and North Africa, 50 flights a day. Passengers required to check their laptops with their luggage. But expanding the order to European airports would affect as many as 429 flights and 105,000 passengers each day. Both adults and kids relying on the plane's in-flight entertainment systems during 7 to 12 hour flights. No using laptops to work or surf the web while in flight. Not being able to take my laptop would definitely affect me because I like to do all my work on long haul flights. Seats are small, you're compacted, you already have all that discomfort and sort of having your electronics with you sort of helps you just, you know, ease off the pain of a flight. In a statement, the U.S. Travel Association says if there is a legitimate terror threat, the flying public needs to take it seriously and adjust to the new protocols as best they can. But an expanded order would mean all those lithium-ion batteries could end up in the luggage hold, a potentially serious fire risk. An expanded ban is really a huge impact and one that the TSA takes very seriously. But that just illustrates how serious this threat is. Still to be worked out exactly how to handle those laptops that maybe people forget to put in their luggage. They show up at the airport, at the gate or the counter. The airlines may have to consider putting them all into a special container and then putting that container in the cargo hold. Guys, an awful lot of details still to be worked out. Back to you. Really complicated and a very hot issue right now. Tom, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.